Hello, let's have a look at a very simple tool, but a very powerful and useful one, which is the selection brush. It's over here on the left, and it's, there are a number of brushes throughout the toolbar here. It's the topmost one, and uh, you can click it there to select it. And up here we have various things that we can click on. Not too many, so it's fairly simple. We can add and subtract. And this is the way it basically works. So I paint with the add selected. If I select subtract, I can sort of rub out what I've done. I very seldom use subtract because when you've got add selected, you hold down the alt key and brush and you get exactly the same effect. The alt reverses it as it does with many other things. So let's start again. So we'll do an add. And what we'll do add now is this one here. And this is the superpower that the selection brush has got. It finds edges and it finds them really well. So if I paint down here next to the wall, see it's finding the wall. And even going across here, it's finding that rough surface along the top of the horizon. If I go up here, See what it does. Oops, look, it's lit, bled over there, but it doesn't matter because let's do all the rest of that. There we go. All I need to do is hold on the Alt key to do a subtract. And it also looks for edges when I subtract, so it'll go back to an edge. There we go. So it's very good at doing that. Another thing to remember with the this brush is the the way the Affinity Photo works. It looks underneath the circle of the brush, and it looks up the kind of the averages and the range of things under there, and then looks for similar things to join up in a selection. So when you do a bigger one, it's got a whole bunch of things to look at, so it's easier to find similar things. So if you've got an area like a sky, one click. And there you are, it's got the lot. It's even figured out that edge there because it had so much to look at. This makes it very useful for just really quickly selecting a whole bunch of things. What I typically do after I've done a selection like this with a selection brush, and I use it most of the time for doing selections, is I'll do a quick mask so I can have a look at it and see if there's anything missing. I can do some painting with a quick mask if I want to change that. But uh, if I cue to quick mask, on and off, turn that off again. But what I very often do is a refine, which will, if we go down to the edges here, can we have a look at this? Um, maybe let's go over here, what's that like? It's done a pretty good job first thing, isn't it, all together? Yeah, it's not gonna refine, it's probably not gonna do much different to this. Even going into this, how's that? Uh, look at the way that's sort of like in and out there. You can see the rough edge going in and out. Uh, when you see three circles like this, by the way, it means your, your brush is too big. So if you reduce the size of the brush, it goes down to one circle. Three circles means I can't, I'm not, the, you're holding your brush, but it's it'll go, it's outside the, the screen. So what I do, can do here is if I hit refine, see what it does. And because the refine, it also does like a quick mask, but it will also, you know, with the, the red outline, uh, it tries to figure out how to, do a bit of a fade on it as well. See the way it's got that, that fade there, it's got that, that feathering. So it's already immediately tidied this up for me. So I just hit apply to that and I've got a really good sky. So let's bring the, here we go, here's the refine. And apply that. And that has then selected the sky really well. So if I say Control C and Control V, just cut and paste, I put it out there. I can get rid of the selection now. I've got that sky on a separate layer. Here we go. And I can start to do things with that. So for example, with the sky, let's just do a curves. Uh, pick the curves there. And if I just say, pull it down, so I can darken the sky. I can change the color of it. I can even take it away and put a new sky in. So there we go. So, there's the, the uh, selection brush, 
over here, add, snap to edges, alt to, go backward or to, delete and rub things out. Thanks for watching.